Hey guys, this is Danks87. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a balloon power up. You pull the trigger, the balloon inflates, and you go up. You let go of the trigger, the balloon deflates, and you drop. You can also move around while you're in the air, and uh, up and down. This tutorial was requested by Thomas Duffy. So what you're going to need is a controllinator, a broadcast microchip, player sensor, timer, movers, advanced mover, anti-gravity, blaster handle, I don't need that second one, and a battery. Okay, so we're going to start by getting our um, handle out, which is in the collected objects. These are really handy for making your own power-ups. Next we're going to get out our um, decoration mount. Um, these are used for changing the size of decorations. It's very helpful in this one. Uh, we're still in play mode so I'm just going to turn off play mode. And we're going to tweak this a little by increasing the time it takes to about 2. You want it to be in-out movement and you want it to scale from the top. And to be the colour of the player so their balloon will be their colour. So because we're using scale from top, as you can see it will scale right from the top, we need our balloon to be placed on the top. It's hard to place a decoration on a flat surface unless it's sideways. So what we're going to do is go into our pause menu, snap to 90 degrees and turn it on its side. And then turn your camera angle slightly to the side so you can actually see where the top would be. So we go down and we're going to pull out our um, balloon which is right at the bottom and we're going to pop that right in the center not as big as it starts off as because it's quite big so we're going to reduce the size slightly and have it directly in the middle okay once that's done we're going to turn it back to the top now we're going to start with some logic so we're going to put down a microchip onto the uh, decoration mount next we are going to put a blaster handle onto our um, gun itself. So if you put it on the handle of the gun, I'll have to reduce the size slightly. And then we're going to change a couple of the tweaks in here. So we want it to be 0% aiming, so we don't need to aim, and it grips it grips the gun as opposed to holds the gun. Now we want to get ourselves a knock gate and put it on the micro trip that's on the decoration mount. then we want the trigger to go into the knot gate. It also leaves us with a trigger here that we can use to put into all of the positions on the decoration mount. Now we need our broadcast microchip. This should be set to the closest player and it should be not too wide, make it about 15 I'd say. And inside the broadcast microchip, we want the controllinator. We want this to be a receiver of the closest player, the nearest player. Next up, we want an advanced mover inside the controllinator. Um, change the settings in here, give it a little bit of deceleration. Hook up left and right analog stick into the left and right input, and the up and down into the up and down input. Next we want a countdown timer, so we get our timer, pop it down, and we want it to count down. We're going to use two seconds for now, and next up we're going to use a battery to power that timer. Now we're going to get our mover. This is going to be for pulling you up to begin with. Um, we're going to go with two, pulling up, and we're going to have it as a strength scale input. Next up we're going to have our anti-gravity. Pop that on, we'll leave it at full strength. and now for our animation. Now they have a perfect animation in the animation tweakers that if you 
choose animation, go all the way down until you get to the miscellaneous. Go into Sackboy miscellaneous. Scroll down until you find all the falling, and then there's one called Hanging from Swoop. And I reduce the speed of this to about 60%, that feels around the best. Lastly, attach that to the attach the trigger to the broadcast microchip. And now what we all we need to do now is add in some um, sounds. So we need another timer and we need it down to one second and countdown. And attach that to when it's not being pulled on the trigger. This is for our deflate sound. So we pop down a sound and we go into it and in household sounds first one is balloon emptying. So we use that one and then we connect that to our timer otherwise it's going to make the sound all the time and we don't want that. So copy that and now we want an inflating sound. The inflating sound doesn't make the inflating sound the whole time it just makes it at the beginning and then gives you a kind of rubbery balloon sound. Okay, next up we're going to put the gun upright and then we're going to line up the balloon to the gun. Now press play so it deflates and then save your gun. Pull out your gun and as you can see when we inflate it pulls us up. At the moment it's quite low so we can go into here and increase the time to 4 and you can also increase the timer to be about 4 as well and then you get a, a larger amount. So you can play around with that and make it as quick or as slow as you want or as high or as short as you want it's up to you but yeah that is it guys um, thanks for the request um, keep them coming there will be more videos up ASAP cheers guys